Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Pearson, your elementary ELL teacher. Today you're going to do an informative oral retail for First Grade Journeys Lesson 19, and our anchor text is Tomas Rivera. Before this lesson, we're going to do the turn and talk routine. That means I'm going to ask you a question, you're going to think about your answer, then you're gonna pair up with a partner at home or I can be your virtual partner. And then you're going to share your thinking out loud in a complete sentence or sentences. Tomas Rivera is nonfiction. And what does nonfiction mean? Nonfiction books teach us information and facts. Nonfiction is real. It might have text features and photographs, might have real topics. It might be about real topics like holidays, animals, and sports. Tomas Rivera, we know that Tomas Rivera is nonfiction. The text is nonfiction. But what is the genre or type of nonfiction text? Well, Tomas Rivera belongs to the genre category of biographies. Biographies are nonfiction text. Biographies tell about a person's life. And biographies are written by someone else. So let's review our vocabulary words because you might use these vocabulary and sight words when you are talking about the biography Tomas Rivera. Work. Work means work is a job or task. Work. Two, great. Great means very good. Great. Number three, talk. Talk means to speak and communicate. Number four, paper. Paper or parchment is what you write on. It is what a book is filled with. Were. Were is a word used to talk about something in the past. Are is used for the present. Wish you were here. We were at school. Were. Number six, soon. Soon means in a short time or shortly. Number seven, laugh. Laugh means to giggle and make sounds to show that something is funny. Laugh. Number eight, done. Done means over, finished, or completed. Done. So here's our learning targets. I can tell the main topic and key details of the biography. Tomas Rivera, using pictures and words. Our next learning target is, I can listen and take turns talking about the text. Success criteria, that means how will you know you're successful at saying the main topic and key details of the biography, Tomas Rivera? And how will you know you're successful at listening and taking turns while talking about the text? Well, here are our steps to success. I will, number one, answer the talk about it questions. Number two, I will circle and say the author's purpose of the passage. It's as easy as pie. Number three, I will say and match what the text is mostly about. Number four, I will say and match what the author wants us to learn. And finally, I will say and match one to two detail sentences to each retelling picture. Let's go over our turn and talk rules. If you have a partner at home, your eye to eye and me to me, number one. Number two, first one person talks, the other person listens. Number three, then the next person talks, the other person listens. Four, don't talk too long on your turn or your other partner will not have time for, to have a turn. You may agree with your partner or with me, Mrs. Pearson, and you can say, I agree with you because, or you may disagree. 
And you could say, I disagree with you because, and tell me why. This is a first major event and detail from the biography, Tomas Rivera. You can find, about, find it on, in our Journeys textbook on pages 131 to 133. What did Thomas do when his work was done? What did Thomas do when his work was done? So you could say, when his work was done, So say your answer out loud. When his work was done, well, when his work was done, he would listen to stories that his grandpa told. His grandpa told great stories. You can reread about this major event on pages 136 to 138. Where did Tomas's grandfather take him and why was this important? So where did Tomas's grandfather take him and why was this important? So he took him to, this was important because, Well, Tomas's grandfather took him to the library. This was important because Tomas read a lot of books about nonfiction and fiction, and he learned not only to read, but to become a writer and get ideas. Um, you can reread about this major event in important detail on page 139 of our Journeys textbook. What is Tomas doing in the picture? What is Tomas doing in the picture? Tomas is... Well, Tomas is reading his stories that he wrote. So after he went to the library, he got lots of ideas, and soon he was writing his own stories. And he read the stories to his family when they were taking a break or when their work was done. Here's the last major event, and you can reread about this in our Journeys textbook on page 141 to 142. What did Tomas write books about? What did Tomas write books about? Well, Tomas wrote books about Tomas wrote books about Well, if you remember, Tomas wrote People working in the fields and planting crops and um, about things he knew about, things that were in his childhood, um, moving from farm to farm in Texas and picking crops. So what are the people doing in the picture? What are the people doing in the picture? Well, the people are... The people are well. The people are going to the library that was built for um, in Tomas Rivera's honor, because Tomas grew up to be a famous writer, and people all over the world loved his stories and books, and so a library was built and named after him because he loved to go to the library. So why did the author write the text or biography, Tomas Rivera? It's as easy as pie, or P-I-E. The author wrote the text to persuade, P stands for persuade, to convince the reader of a certain point of view. Or the author wrote the text to 
inform the teacher, give information to the reader, or entertain. E stands for entertain, to hold the attention of the reader through enjoyment. So why did the author write the text Tomas Rivera? Was it to either persuade, inform, or entertain? Main idea. What is the main idea? The main idea is what a text is mostly about. You can look at the title and pictures. Sometimes the main idea is in the first and last sentence of a book or paragraph. And you can look for clue words repeated over and over. So now we're going to retell the important events and details of Tomas Rivera. So the author wrote the text to either persuade the reader of a certain point of view, that Tomas Rivera is the best author in the whole world, for example, or the author wrote the text to inform, to give information about Tomas Rivera's life, or the author wrote the text to entertain the reader about a funny story about Tomas Rivera. So why do you think the author mostly wrote the text? To persuade, inform, or entertain the reader? The author wrote the text to inform, to give information about Tomas Rivera's life. It's a biography after all. It is mostly about, what is Tomas Rivera mostly about? It is mostly about Tomas Rivera's life. It is mostly about Tomas Rivera's life. Here are four details or facts that support the main idea. And they are also in the correct order or sequence. So what happened first, second, third, and finally fourth. So this is in the correct sequence or order. So first, when his work was done, what happened? When his work was done, what did Tomas do? After they worked all day out in the fields picking crops. Well, first, when his work was done, Tomas's grandpa, grandpa would tell great stories. When his work was done, Tomas's grandpa would tell great stories. Second, what happened at the library? Second, at the library, Well, at the library, there were lots of books that made Tomas laugh and think. At the library, there were lots of books that made Tomas laugh and think. Third, Tomas told his family. Third, Tomas told his family. Well, Tom, soon Tomas told his family his own stories and then wrote them on paper. So soon Tomas told his family his own stories and then wrote them on paper. Fourth, what did Tomas write about? Fourth, Tomas wrote about... Well, fourth, Tomas wrote about people who worked picking crops. Later, a library was named after him. So in conclusion, the author wants us to learn about, who does the author want us to learn about? 
The author wants us to learn about Tomas Rivera. All right. So let's reflect on our retelling of the biography, Tomas Rivera. I can tell the main topic and key details of the biography, Tomas Rivera, using pictures and words. How do you think you did? Four. I could teach this lesson. I easily answered the questions. I retold the main idea and I retold all four details out loud. If so, say, I earned a four. Or would you give yourself a three? I could help someone with this lesson. I answered most of the questions. I retold the main idea and I retold three details out loud. Or would you give yourself a two? I understood some of the lesson. I answered some of the questions. I retold the main idea and I retold two details out loud. Or would you give yourself a one? I did not understand this lesson. I was not able to answer the questions. I did not retell the main idea and I did not retell the details out loud. So how do you think you did? Four, three, two, or one. All right, boys and girls, thank you for reviewing Tomas Rivera with me and talking about it. Have a great day.